Hey everyone, it's Damien Dark Sky, and today I want to talk about something which I take somewhat seriously the ranked system. With the rewards being announced for all levels, a lot of people are playing ranked, but at the same time might not be getting the results they want. Alternatively, you might be like me and been playing ranked all season and still not getting what you want. I've slowly started climbing again after dropping to bronze 3 but I've noticed that I've been improving and hopefully I can get to silver before the end of the season because it is very important to set yourself a realistic goal. I would like to mention a few different tips that have helped me in my climb and hopefully this will help you. Step 1. Learn about your enemy champions. There are currently 115 champions in the game and you need to know at least what their abilities are. There are two different ways to do this. You can research them or play them yourself. The resource, League of Legends Wikia, which I'll just bring up for you now, is a wonderful resource for looking up stuff while your game is loading up. What I try to do is when the game is loading, I pick a champion on the enemy team that I might not be comfortable playing against or I might not know as well, and let's say Pantheon, and look him up. And by doing this, so I, by doing this, I can look at his passive there. Look at all his different abilities. So instead of just running in and having no idea what his abilities are, I have a vague, vague idea and understanding of like the damage he can do, the ranges, and how his passive works. Alternatively, I can get Pantheon, open in League of Legends client, and play him in game. Arguably, this is the best way to do it because you yourself will understand all the ability ranges, attack ranges, and so on and so forth. I mean, when I play against Dear Dravens or Tarex, I can abuse the stuns, the cooldowns, uh, his range, because I know that because I play them myself. You need to learn about the champions. You can research them or you can play them. Step 2. Don't worry about counters too much. Counters are great. Counters are fantastic. But skill levels can alleviate the whole countering thing. Let's say you're in a game and you're playing against an Akali and you're like, okay, I want to look up the counter to Akali. So you Google it, and click on championselect.net, which is a great resource by the way, and you scroll down and you go, oh okay, the most voted one is Lee Sin. Now, I could pick Lee Sin, but I'm a terrible Lee Sin. I hope you never have to experience or witness my Lee Sin. Therefore, if I go into that lane against Akali as Lee Sin, she'll probably still trash me, despite me being her counter. Alternatively, if I was like Diamond Prox with my Lee Sin, I'd probably pick that and trash her in lane. Counters are great, but you should pick champions that you are very experienced at. If you counter them as well, well, that's an added bonus. But if I go into that lane and pick a champion I'm trash at, even though they're a counter, she's going to screw me over. Step 3. Practice your mechanics. Now, mechanics is arguably one of the most important things in the games. When you watch people watching Gosu or Double Lift, you hear, you hear them say, Oh, look at their vein mechanics, because... For example, Vayne, you need to know which way you need to tumble, you need to know about placement, you need to know the angle for your condemn. And that comes down to practice. Set up custom games with against bots. Learn how to farm by having no, no uh, ruins or masteries on so you can really narrow that down to a fine point. Play against beginner bots who have slightly slower reflexes so you can like get that angle right for when you want to use your fishes when you fizz or condemn when you're vain or the best time to suicide and use your ultimate as Carthus. all these things are very important I mean I personally start off my own smurf to see if I could get to level 30 maybe try out and see if I can get a different ranking in um, the rank system but um I have no runes or no masteries I've been playing mainly co-op versus AI um, I'm up to like level 12 now and then I went back on my main after practicing all those little things like mechanics and I would jump from having 100 CS a game to about 120 130 by 20 minutes which is a vast improvement in my eyes and also on that on top of that a couple of kills by practicing in custom games and practicing in PvPs you learn your champions better you understand the mechanics and your CS will improve that's my take step 4 remaining calm to me, out of everything, this is one of the most important things out of all the advice in this video. I am a massive fan of Froggen, and I admire the way he keeps calm on his stream when he's in team fights and when he gets ganked. I tried to model him in games, and I noticed straight away that I improved. I stopped panicking. Instead of snapping of fear and ma of making a rash decision, saying a poor flash or using the wrong abilities, 
in the wrong order, I calmly fought out targets and focused them, told my teammates to. For example, right here, I could have panicked, I could have let the vein eat me alive. Now I do die, however, I make sure all my damage is focused on that group of three that, even though I die, leads to the damage, to the killing of Vayne and the cl afterwards cleanup. Now I could have gone in and then just sat there and focused a Ramus and that would have been bad and Vayne might have turned that fight exactly the wrong way around but I stayed calm. I didn't go, okay holy shit I'm in the middle, what do I need to do? I fought it out. And as a result, even though I die, he does miss that. That's what happens. On a side note, also, raging at your teammates is also a massive no. If they're having a bad game, you need to support them, give them a few kills, offer motivation, and not hang them from the ceiling. If you make them upset, they will make more mistakes. It's as simple as that. All of these things help me improve my gameplay. There is more than just these four, however. Watching worlds, watching streams, playing more champions, and teaching people on my smurf, so helping out the lower levels, have helped me immensely because it makes me research more in depth or simply learn new stuff that I wouldn't have worked out myself. Like, you can cleanse Nocturne's ultimate. Anyway, that's it for me. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, or favorite it. It would mean the world to me. I play on OCE, so I might see you around there. But if not, hopefully I'll see you on my channel. I'll see you guys around, and see you next time.